this blue and black cityscape is rad looking. This is a rad game, I tell you. I'm not really sure what the plot is. Like aliens or robots or aliens who are robots have taken over the earth and we play as a witch who must defeat them we may also be a robot it's unclear to me it might be clearer if I read the story uh, admittedly the story may be more well explained I'm I've not paid a whole lot of attention, so I've not paid a whole lot of attention. Oh, we've got some glitches. That's always fun to see. So this may remind you of another game. You may be watching this and think, I've seen this before. And you're not wrong. My goodness, isn't this like a non-stop ball? Yeah, ball. Not ball? What? Okay, good. She's so cute the way her hat tail animates. I love it. So the game is likely going to crash on us. I'm going to stubbornly keep playing it anyway because that's, I mean, you know, that's just the way I am. That's not what you want to do. Okay, and here we are, back at the top. So, from what I understand, we don't have to conserve our uh, energy. Like the our powers, we can use, we seem to be able to use as much as we want. And so you may be wondering why I don't spam powers constantly, and that's well because I'm not exactly sure what all the powers do. I have a, a base I have a basic understanding of the ball, freeze, and broom powers. Not really sure how the shield or fire work. Because like I said, this isn't a first playthrough. I've uh, I've tinkered with this game in the past, but I've never made it more than a few screens in. <laughs> well, there's some way to ride this broom. There it goes. Oh, and we can turn it around. Nice. We can also make it fly up. Okay. But that seems to be at my peril. Okay. 
getting very good at these early stages is vital to success in this game. I've been so busy trying to figure out how to clip your reaction before that, I totally missed this so far. <laughs> well, I don't know what reaction you're referring to, but I appreciate you making the clip. Sorry you've, uh, sorry you've had to miss the game to do it. But don't worry, you haven't missed a whole lot. Hey Vansky, welcome to the stream. I hope your uh, hope your speed runs have been going well. It's good to see you. That explosion on the spikes is entirely too pretty. It's like they're it's like they're incentivizing defeat, right? Like, oh, if I if I get exploded, I get I get rewarded with a pretty fireworks display. Going great. Getting small PRs here and there, no rush, right on. From what I understand, that's what it's all about. I'm not much of a, you know, I'm not much of a speedrunner, but I've been working on Castlevania Adventure, and I can definitely appreciate the thrill of... the thrill of beating your old time. Even by a little. It looks like I still haven't figured it out, though, and there are various unnecessary clips. I mean, most of the clips of my stream seem to be people clipping things by accident. <laughs> there are some pretty good ones, but most of them... I think it's safe to say most of them seem like people experimenting with the clip feature. Oh, no! Wrong button. That's not how to drive. That appears to be fire. I still don't know how to clip things. I've uh, I've experimented. I've created. I think I've created one clip from a stream from another streamer I was watching. I can only remember doing it one time anyway. And it wasn't even a unique clip, because when I finally figured out, when I finally figured it out and was done, I saw that like eight other people had clipped the exact same moment. Knew there were glitches. <laughs> we knew that my carelessness would lead us to this point eventually. 
And look, here we are. So, um, there's a lot of, uh, G-O. Go, go, go. Oh, never mind. Now all the text has been scattered and we're left only with a few, with a few random E's. Yeah. Here there be glitches. I mean, I could just, I could just have a, uh, I could just have a traffic sign, you know. Like, if you were taking all the, like, Twitch streams and drawing them on a map together, that's what the area where Agent Frowny streams, my region of the map, my region of the world, it would just be, it would just say, here there be glitches. All right, so let me, uh, let me address the situation. I'll be back with you shortly, my friends. Okay, cross your fingers. Fortunately, we have lost no progress. This game is exceptionally difficult to make progress in. <laughs> guys basically exactly like met maybe I shouldn't point that out oh no am I spoiling what game this is have I given have I given people enough time to figure it out <laughs> We did it. We beat a stage. One one dash one clear. Hey, thank you for the trophies. Victories are going to be few and far between, so we need to celebrate them when we can. I wonder if I can grind for health, because my health is really low. I know an enemy dropped dropped a health item one time, so I'm hopeful that it could happen again, question mark. 
Maybe not. I don't know, I don't think it's gonna happen again. That was a health item, but I don't know that I can get around this uh, shield, so I didn't really want to risk it. My health is so low, though. Oh, and there we go. Exploded. Respawns. The respawns in this are more brutal than Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> Hello, Derek Ocean. Welcome to the stream. We beat, uh, I played through and beat Castlevania again. I did it in a, an hour and two minutes. That's the time that's under my head. I ran the timer during Castlevania just for the fun of it. And now we're playing something else. We're playing the Cryon Conquest. Which is, I think, a little-known game. It's a game that I really, really want to like, but I think, um... It's difficult to like this game. For reasons that will become apparent very soon. sister got the new Monopoly and you played that tonight. I hope you had a good time. I've mentioned before that I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Monopoly myself, but I can get why other people like it. How many murders were committed? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, when I play Monopoly, how many murders? All of them. It didn't ever even occur to me to try and duck until just now. Look at that, I can duck. No, I fell on the spikes. Oh, here we go. Here we go, get ready for it, my friends. Look at this. Game over. 
No continues. Title screen for you. For me, as it were. <laughs> That's what this game is like. We have to beat this whole game with three lives. No continues. <laughs> I don't even know how big, how big this game is, but... Considering... Considering what it's stolen from, I imagine it's got to be at least 8 to 12 stages. So yeah, when it comes to beating this game, we are in for a rough ride. I've, I mean, I like the game. I love the aesthetic. I like the... Uh, I like that you get all the power-ups and they are infinitely usable right at the start. Like, that's an interesting twist. It is proven solid gameplay. There's just the problem of it's exceedingly difficult and you get zero continues. So yeah, when it comes to beating this game, I would love to beat this game, but that may be a long way off. There may be a lot of streams of the Cryon, Cryon Conquest on and off for the next several years <laughs> if I'm trying to beat this. if I time my shot and my duck correctly, I could get past those net-like enemies without taking a hit, but thus far I have uh, not managed the trick of the thing. duck and fire, but it doesn't actually change the height of my projectile. Magic beans. Oh, thank you, Derek. Let me just get away from these. Never mind. I was going to say, let me get away from these spikes, but <laughs> no, no such luck. So yeah, to beat this game, I'm going to have to become perfect at its stages one by one and then be able to string them all together. Ugh. I've had this bean so much. This bean is buttered popcorn slash rotten egg. It's the no win bean. It's been rotten egg a lot, so... I'm due for a buttered popcorn, but it doesn't matter. I hate the buttered popcorn anyway. Oh. 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 It's egg. It's not... It's actually not hitting me as violently as it normally does. I was expecting worse when I noticed it was egg. I 
I guess I'm inoculated to the awfulness. Bean. The bean gods took pity on me. Oh. I don't know. I've been keeping it toward the front of my mouth, too. I think that helps. When I swallow it. Here we go. It's always rough when you swallow the bean and it, it gets to run the full length of your tongue. Ugh, activating all the taste buds. Okay. <sighs> well, it wasn't fun, but it, it wasn't as bad as it wasn't as bad as it as it usually is. So I'm better off not complaining. That bean didn't taste so much like rotten egg as it did regular egg. Which, you know, a regular egg jelly bean is still something to be feared. But I'll take a regular egg over a rotten egg any day. There are no checkpoints in the levels, by the way. When you die, you go to the top of the level every time. And when you game over, you go to the top of the game. How far have you made it so far? You've seen how far I've made it so far, actually. Um, as far as I got on my last life, that's as far as I've ever gotten. I, um, I set up at the, uh, I set at the top that this isn't a first playthrough, necessarily, but, I mean, it, it's a first playthrough. It's not a first play. But uh, I've uh, I've dabbled in this game a little bit in the past, but I've never made it very far because of the uh, the uncharitable the uncharitable progress markers in this game. I've always given up on it in the past. And you know, I'll, I'll probably give up on it tonight too. I don't plan to grind grind my way through the whole game, but I thought I'd play it a little bit, have some fun with it. And you know, maybe dip my toes, dip my toes into the prospect of uh, completing the game. Even if I have to restart from the beginning every time, if I'm if I feel like I'm reliably making progress, then I'll be encouraged to stick with it. 
There we go, that's another stage down. 1-2 clear. It looks like that fire kind of shouldn't hurt me. All right, you could argue it well, it's high enough. It shouldn't shouldn't burn you, but it does. It does, don't be fooled. Hey, thank you for the uh, trophies. How many rounds in a level? I'm not sure. I don't know how many rounds per level. I don't know how many levels there are in total. I'm uh, I'm learning the game just like everyone else. This looks like a boss. Or a mini boss. But it defeated me. And that was my last life. So that's all we get to see of that. Agony. <laughs> Rough. I know. Alright, back to the top. So the, the cool thing about this game is that if you ever beat it, you're basically a speedrunner already because you have to repeat the whole game every time to make to make any progress. So, you know, you'll master it. <laughs> Ball Machine Boss is kind of cool, though. <laughs> this is Ness hard. You better believe it. How did Harry Potter go? Harry Potter's a lot of fun. That's uh, that's on the schedule twice this week, I think. Harry Potter seems like a big game. I think it's deceptively big, though. Like, I played the full, like... I don't know, I played four hours of the game or so, and we still... We only made it through the first day of the game. You know, lar largely because I wandered off and explored a whole lot, but, which, you know, eventually, I expect eventually I'll run out of exploration, but. Seemed like there was a lot to see and do. At least at the start of the game. But I think, uh, I think we're going to play that again tomorrow. And... Friday, I think I've got it on the schedule for. Uh, for anyone watching, if you're curious about the schedule, um, just uh, whisper me a request to join the Discord. You're you're welcome to join. I'll send you an invite, and then you'll have access to that. I post the streaming schedule every week. On Sunday for the upcoming week. If you're curious. If not, hey, just drop by again and again and be surprised every night. That'll be something, they usually be something different. Um, I liked it back in the day. If you beat it, play Chamber of Secrets. I probably will. Um, I won't do it immediately after, because I like, I like spacing out games in the same series. You know, if I, if I play a game, I like to, I like to wait and digest it before I play another game in the same series, but, yeah, we will. Although I think if I play the Chamber of Secrets, I might play the Game Boy port of it. For the sake of variety, 
I expect it will be a mediocre slash lackluster experience, but that might be the kind of experience I'm in the mood for. We'll just have to see when it rolls around. Not only did I fall in the spikes and die, but there was a health refill item right there. I think they're doing a new Harry Potter game. Might be cool, maybe. Maybe. I saw, um, I think I saw a teaser trailer for that. You're talking about, there was a, looks like they're making a Harry Potter game that's set, like, in the 1800s or something like that. Looks pretty cool. There is almost a 0% chance of me playing it, though. I have no plans on getting a, uh, I have no plans on getting a console that will be able to run it. If they put a, if they put a really, like, stripped down and basic version of it on the Switch, I'll pick it up. But outside of that, there's basically no chance. I'll learn to use my powers more and better. made it to the gumball machine again, but with the exact same amount of health, which is no health. And I exploded immediately. Um, I hope it's under open world. I'm unsure what systems it's going to be on. Um, it doesn't matter. Unless they release it on the Switch or the PlayStation 2, I won't be able to play it. <laughs> and I got a feeling, I got a feeling it's probably not going to come out on the PS2. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> I like I like that positive attitude. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. If anyone releases a PS2 game, everyone needs to go out and buy it today. We should we everyone should support that nonsense. If a PS2 game comes out tomorrow, it doesn't matter what it is. Go buy it. Let them know. Vote with your dollars. 
Say, we want nonsense. I would, even if it was terrible. PS2 might be a bit of a stretch. Mike, it, maybe it could come out on the Wii. Aren't they still releasing, like, Just Dance games on the Wii? Just Dance just won't die. It's the, it's the Dracula of video game franchises. It always rises again. I've never even played a Just Dance game. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be my kind of thing, but... I'm just saying, for the sake of fairness, I've never even tried one. So, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I could, maybe if I played one, I, I would love it, and it would become one of my favorite series, but... Something, something tells me... Probably not. It's probably not my kind of thing. I like to keep... I like, as much as I like to keep an open mind about games I've never played, it's probably not my thing. <laughs> Might be a fun stream. They're really silly and a lot of fun. I played before, my sis laughed at me. Uh, no die, just dance. They're fun, a rock band. Rock band I have played before. Band, rock Band was a lot of fun. I played it not exactly during its peak height, but close to it. Or not, I mean, not, not, not exactly during the peak of its popularity, the height of its popularity, but close to it. Rock Band makes me feel a little guilty, though, though because I because I play the guitar, and so when I play Rock Band, I feel guilty that I'm not practicing a real guitar. <laughs> I feel like, oh, my time, my time could be better spent. Good old days for Rock Band. You just have to think about it as a cool shaped controller rather than a guitar. I 
Like I said, I've had a lot of fun with Rock Band. I just said I feel I feel a little guilty when I play Rock Band. I still have fun. It's it's another fun game, not a music lesson. Agreed. Helicopter guys, when they swoop down, they really mean business. I forgot. Oh, when you jump on the broom. When you jump on the broom, it kills you. Yeah, I mean, you know, not exactly, but basically. I'm hurting this boss. I don't even know if it's a boss. Maybe I can just run by? I can just run by. It's not even a real boss. Why did my broom disappear? Did you see that? That's... It's not cool. What a rude broom. I'm not, I'm not very happy about that. Robbed, I know. Back at the top again. So I plan I plan on playing this for about another half an hour. And then at that point we'll see. Again, if I'm not if I'm not consistently making progress, then we might wrap it up. And uh, move on to something move on to something else for the rest of the night. And we'll come back to this. Um 
This is something I'm going to want to practice off and on for a long time until I get good at it. But I don't think, I don't necessarily think tonight is a good idea for, for trying to grind out the whole thing. We'll see. You know, maybe I'll get really, maybe on one of these lives I'll get really far and that will inspire me to play it a whole lot more. I'm gonna, I wanna remain flexible here. stuff like that happens, though. Makes me feel like I'm in for a really rough ride. So I talked, I talked in one of my, um, in my Discord post recently about how I want to try and start my streams a little early and maybe warm up with a, with an unplanned, unannounced game. And like, this is the kind of thing that I'm thinking, like, this would be really good for uh, one of those warm up games. If I start like, you know, if I start the stream like 45 minutes early or something like that. I can uh, warm up with uh, a couple attempts at something like this before we move on to the night's main events. So this is a good candidate for something like that. Some of the other games that I've been working on that are kind of short, like Double Dragon, would be a really good uh, candidate for something like that. So I'm thinking that's uh, that's where you're most likely to see more of uh, this game showing up on the stream. It's sort of one of those in one of those sort of warm-up slots. Unless I start to get really good at it, you know, if I build up a lot of skill, then we'll get back to it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, polls polls, and voting are something that I'm slowly experiment, experimenting with. But it's a, it's, a long, it's a long way off before I have my co collection completely accessible, completely viewable. So, yeah, like, so far as viewers picking and voting on games... That's something I'm working toward, but don't count on it anytime soon. I mean, I own somewhere close to like maybe eight or nine hundred games, so getting them all in a list and having that posted somewhere where people can browse it and see what I have. That's taken a while. My Nintendo 64 games. think that link should work? Let me check it myself. 
If you want to see what Nintendo 64 games I have, I've got that inventory available for viewing online at that link there. But until I get them all, until I get all my games added, yeah, it's going to be a while. The link works. Thank you for thank you for uh, checking cows. I never trust I never trust myself fully typing a hyperlink. There's so many uh, there's so many opportunities for ex for disaster. <clears throat> so I have my Super Nintendo games. And my Atari games, I have them privately inventoried. I haven't added them to that website yet, though. But once I have, um, once I have all the games that I can stream, because there are some like my Virtual Boy games, there's really no point to add them to that list because if I stream a Virtual Boy game, it's going to be the most boring night ever for you guys. Because all you're going to get to see is me sticking my head in the Virtual Boy all night. I don't have any way to capture the game footage. So unless you just want to watch a whole stream that's just like this, with me playing a game that you can't see, I don't know that it's going to be a lot of fun. Alright, let's get spicy. Oh man. I got a fresh new pepper for the Let's Get Spicy. Oh man. It's cut into massive chunks. I really, I cut this pepper into four chunks. I should have cut it into six chunks. They're massive. One of them's reasonably sized, but I won't pick the reasonably sized one for starters. I'll pick a big one for starters. I have this one right here. This is a this is a giant chunk of pepper. It should be at least it should be just two thirds of this. I'm scared. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. That's a sizable pepper. <laughs> it's a pretty big chunk. Well, no time like the present. cheeks oh my cheeks are burning what is this usually it's it's the tongue or the throat but it's my cheeks I feel it in my cheeks <sighs> I was worried I was worried I was gonna feel it in my gums I cut my gums I cut one of my gums, or I cut a place in my gums. My gum. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Anyway. Oh my. Oh my. I was flossing my teeth. I was flossing and I cut myself. With the floss. And so I was worried that that was gonna sting. But it's, that doesn't sting. My, my cheeks sting. 
<laughs> okay. Woo. Oh. Ah. All right, well. Well, uh, I'm awake now. I'm awake now. <clears throat> you did it. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. <clears throat> so, um, again, like regarding the, uh, the, like viewers picking I do want I do want that to happen it's just yeah it's a slow process I feel like I need to have my games because I'm not like I don't I don't emulate I'm an original I'm an original hardware streamer and because of that Oh, the screen's black for you. I'm sorry. There you go. There's another there's another sneak peek. Another sneak peek of that virtual boy stream we're going to do some night. <laughs> it's going to be just like that. <laughs> that's that's why that's why we shouldn't do that. <sighs> anyway, I want viewers to have input in the games I play, but the thing is I want to have my games, because I'm an original hardware guy, I can only stream things I own. And so I want to have what I own accessible and viewable so it isn't a thing like, where it's like you want to pick a game and it's like, well, do you have X? No. Do you have Y? No. Do you have Z? No. And like, you know, we spend an hour of like people picking games that I don't have. I just don't, I want to avoid all that nonsense by having my games available up front. So, so we're going to get that done. And then I'm thinking I'll have two, I think I'm going to have two separate channel point rewards. <clears throat> and one is going to be when you redeem it, you get to pick a game that goes into a pool of games. Um, that other where like a whole bunch of people have picked a game and so it goes into a pool and I'll have like one night of the the week or every other week where I don't have any a plan for the stream I just pick a game out of the pool and play whatever we get and so I'll have a channel point where you can redeem to add a game to that pool for random selection and then I'm thinking I'll have a second one like a really expensive one where you can pick a game and force me to add it to the schedule for the next week. <clears throat> and that'll be that'll be one that's a it'll be a mandatory play, but it's probably going to cost a whole lot. Cuz if I'm if I'm going to give someone <clears throat> If I'm going to give someone that much input on the stream, I want them I want it to go to someone who's who's, you know, a loyal viewer, someone who's been hanging around with us for a while. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. It's some it's ooh, alert. Did I make it to a boss? Oh my goodness. I'm frozen. This is this is a cutscene. Big enemy. Data file number one. Name Thunder Knight. Hit point 120. Strong 20. High speed 40. Shot 10. Speciality thunder attack. Message for you from your friends. From my friends. What? All right, how do we fight thunder? You know, you think freeze? Whoa! Thank you. 
don't have a lot of health left. No. How kind of your friends luck to send you a message. To send you a message. Oh, Mile High Roll, hello. Welcome to the stream and thank you for the pistachios. We're all the way back here. We don't even get to start at the alert. Pistachios are good. I wish I had a little bit less, um, I wish I had a little bit less residual pepper heat, but I could enjoy them a little more. But pistachios are never bad. Except that one time. One time I, I, I ate a bad pistachio. doesn't mess around. It certainly does not. This game demands, demands you be a pro. It has no time for anything less than absolute perfection. Pistachios are best nuts. I agree. Could you, could you stop with the boomerang, please? You like trail mix. Or mixed nuts. I think I have at least a little bit more health this time. That looks really stable for you guys. For me, it's, uh, the screen is flashing. It's like blinking every other, the text only appears on like every other frame. This guy might behave predictably. I have not actually established that he is, in fact, weak to uh, uh, cold. I'm just operating under the assumption that I'm correct. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there he goes. We beat a boss. Can you believe it? We beat a boss. Round one clear. This laser beam reminds me of when people used to draw the Mickey head on the Disney Channel commercials. I don't actually know what you're referring to there, Cows. Thank you for the trophies, though. I didn't have, uh, I didn't have the Disney Channel growing up. I didn't most of the time. By the time I had it, I was kind of too old to care about it, I think. I don't want to say anything for certain here. My family may or may not have had a bootleg satellite receiver <laughs> when I was in high school. We may or may not have been able to receive services without paying for them <laughs> for a time. And so the, the Disney Channel may have been part of that, but by then I was I was well into high school and so I don't I don't recall them having any programming that I would have cared about. Or if they did, I didn't know about it. <sighs> all that progress, all that progress just wiped clean away. I dropped a link in the Discord so you can see I'm not crazy later. <laughs> Alright, I'll check I'll check it out. I reserve the right to think you're crazy for completely unrelated reasons, those cows. <laughs> and in fairness, you can do the same for me. entirely right. Just not crazy about that. Anything else is 100% fair game. <laughs> I love it. See, that's the way this game has got to be played. You got to... You just have to master it so that you can move through all of it flawlessly. That was, uh, that was nearly perfect. I think I only got hit once, and uh, it was by one of those Met guys just because I was being kind of dumb. Completely avoidable, completely my own fault. Kind of like all this. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> oh no! Hello, squirrel. The spicy pepper again. Is it already that time? I feel like I just had a spicy pepper like four seconds ago. I guess time flies when you're having fun. But welcome to the stream. Did I miss a spicy pepper? You did. I've had one tonight. This will be the second. Well, I guess when you get blown up, that's a good time to have a spicy pepper. <laughs> get into a bean instead. Nope, a spicy pepper it is, I'm afraid. We have to stick with the decisions we've made. This chunk is slightly smaller than the last one I had. See, this is this is more reasonable. This is the size that I would make them all. Life just... <laughs> okay. Had to hold back a sneeze. Life decision moment. It looks like an extra hot one. It's okay. It's okay. I'm somewhat... This man is on fire. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like that, I'm like that meme of the guy who's sitting at his kitchen table while his house burns down, and he's like, this is fine. That's me, eating a spicy pepper, crying, sniffling, coughing, I'm okay. Oh. Oh, we did it. We did it. We made it through. We're on the other side. The worst has come. And now it's all about just riding the riding the wave of heat back down. Settling down on the other side. I think the Scovo range is more like a suggestion. You're exactly right. We'll definitely add jalapenos to be hotter than peppers that are generally considered much hotter. 100% agreed. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, the Scoville range, it's good. It's useful. But yeah, it's, it's a, definitely a suggestion. It's an average. I've had peppers that... I've had peppers that basically tasted, you know, they're about, about as spicy as packing peanuts. And then I've had ones that, that melt my face off into a liquid. Oops. Why not just use that on every screen? Oh, I think it might have taken some of my life away. I've also had poblanos that usually don't have heat to be super hot too. 
Yeah, I've come I've come across the spicier than average Poblano a time or two. And I didn't believe it. For the longest time, I didn't believe it. I have a friend. I have a friend who gets a, gets a stuffed pepper, like, pretty much any time we go to a Tex-Mex style restaurant. He gets a stuffed Cloblano. And there have been times where he's complained about, oh, this pepper is so hot. And I just couldn't, for the longest time, I couldn't believe him. Like, how, how can a Poblano be hot? They have no heat. I just thought he was a wimp. I still think he's a spice wimp, but... But I've revised my opinion just a little bit because I've come across... I've since come across a... a spicy poblano a time or two. No thanks on that. Pulvanos in my garden are a bit spicy too. But I don't garden well, so they're usually small and concentrated tasting. I wish I had more of a green thumb. Maybe next summer, or next spring. By next spring, I should be settled into a, I should be settled into a house that will be my quote-unquote forever home. And if that, if that works out as planned, maybe I'll finally have the opportunity where I'll want to have the, the time and space and opportunity to grow something. For real. Fingers crossed. Wish me luck. Hey, thank you, Chaos. Fingers crossed for that. A forever home is super nice. Good luck on it. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. I've done mine and I've done my and several other people's share of moving throughout my life. And I'm really, really, really done with it. Master Tuesday, welcome to the stream. That's a one up. I gotta figure out how to do that. That's a one up. I never noticed it before, but I just saw it. There are one ups in this game. You need one ups in this game more than any game ever before. Thanks for the bean, Master Tuesday. I will honor your redemption. In just a moment. Next year when I move, I'm going to be in an apartment, but that's what I want. There are a lot of, um, there are a lot of benefits to apartment living. 
I know because they're things that I'm they're things that I'm having to deal with giving up recently. <laughs> um, the worst part about forever homes are when you get one that's just on the edge of affordability. Oh, I I really hope it looks like it looks like the places I'm looking at are within my range, and so I should be okay. Having someone else do your maintenance is the best part of an apartment. Yeah, it's nice. See, that's the thing. All the places that I'm looking at buying, they need some sort of work that um, is going to have to be done and probably be done by me. And, you know, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a handyman, so <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be interesting. Zinshan, hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the raid, Zinshan. It's great to see you as always, and thank you so much. Welcome, Zinshan's friends. Glad you stopped by. Um, you came at a good time. I'm about to eat a really gross jelly bean. If you're familiar with Harry Potter or Jelly Belly's Bean Boozled Beans, um, that's that's what's in store for me here. I'm kind of just uh, I'm kind of just chin wagging at the moment to uh, delay the inevitable. <laughs> uh, hello, Super Vegeta. Hey, thank you for the wishes of good luck. Much appreciated. Ape Escape too. Oh man, Ape Escape. Ape Escape is something I haven't played it, but I really want to. <clears throat> I I don't know a lot about Ape Escape. But I imagine it as being what I thought Pokemon was. And I'll elaborate that on that a little bit more in just a moment. I could be wrong about Ape Escape, as wrong as I was about Pokemon. Hope ours will be better. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the house I'm leaning toward right now, the bathroom the bathroom tiles are all falling off the wall, and so the bathroom has to be retiled. And I'm not sure how to do that, but I mean, there's got to be a YouTube or like an old like Bob Vila episode streaming somewhere that tells you how to retile a bathroom. And I can I can watch a video and copy it. How hard can it be, right? <laughs> All right, so let me pick a bean. We are. No! It's the same one! It's the same one. It's the rotten egg or buttered popcorn bean. Again, just a reminder, I hate both flavors. So there's no way to win with this jelly bean. Both of them are disgusting to me. But I've already had rotten egg like eight times in a row, so it'd be really nice to have something not rotten egg, even if it's something I hate. Ugh. It's egg. It's egg again. <laughs> this one's a rotten egg. I said earlier when I had the other one. Oh. I said it wasn't, it didn't taste like a rotten egg. It tastes like a regular egg. This one doesn't taste like a regular egg. Oh, this one is nasty. Oh. Again, welcome to the stream. <laughs> this is what I do around here. <laughs> oh. you, YouTube has tons of resources for DIY stuff. YouTube everything, measure twice, do it once. You win the prize. Oh, thank you. Egg again, egg again. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Uh, 
Um, Derek says, it'll be my first time without parents, so I'm excited. Nice. So, you know, I've, I've lived without parents for a very, very long time at this point, but even after, you know, I grew up and moved out of home, I moved back in with my parents a couple times throughout my life for uh, different reasons, switching jobs and in between moves and that kind of stuff. And man, every time, every time I get back out into my own place, I love my parents. Like we've got a great relationship and all that, but I need, I need my own place. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. You'd be the type to complain. I've had uh, I've had bad maintenance people too, but at least they generally know what they're doing even if they aren't res responsive. Yeah. All the apartments I've had were terrible with maintenance, and I had to do it myself anyway. Yeah, that's that's a shame, especially, you know, considering that's... I feel like that's what you're paying for when you live in an apartment. Like, I mean, you're paying rent, but part of that is you're paying for maintenance, and you're paying for them to... ...take care of, like, the nonsense and that kind of stuff. All right, excuse me just a moment here. I'm going to kind of lean out of frame for a moment. Um, green eggs hold the ham. I feel you. I'm currently back in my parents while the renovations on my house are wrapping up, and it has been a time. Yep. My mom is divorced and my dad has passed away. I used to live with him. He was the chill one. <clears throat> Alright, so... Let's go ahead and honor the uh, super buff. Let me get my uh, camera switched here. Put on the big camera. We'll move some weights around. <clears throat> what do I need to do? I think I need to do curls. Camera's not really at a good angle for that, so we're just going to have to make do. You'll have to use your imagination a little bit here. I know the people I live with well, so I'm not worried about it. I think I read something out of order, but it's good. Woo. later apartments, I changed the shower head to a good one, replaced the toilet seat, and added a bidet attachment. All those made the places feel way nicer. Those are, those are some good suggestions. Um, actually, I've already done one of those, so where I'm staying now in my temporary slash maybe permanent home, I, uh, I've already changed the shower head. The toilet seat's fine. Don't really need to change that. A bidet attachment might be kind of nice, though. 
That might be something to look into. Um, those are all super easy projects and have options to get them done for less than a hundred, hundred bucks. The thing though, is that the, yeah, the, the bathroom needs to be retiled. I don't have a choice about that. So I'm wondering like, what do you think about this? So I get a whole bunch of tiles in different colors then I can treat the tiles like pixels and do like some, uh, do like my own pixel art in my bathroom. Like make a super Mario scene or something like that. You think I can stream that on the retro channel? <laughs> Everyone can hang out with me while I'm retiling my bathroom. <laughs> That'd make for a great stream, huh? It'd be good. It'd be good because maybe if someone was watching, they could tell me what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was being goofy. Might not have sent some messages. Um, I could, I'm not sure. I hope it's working out. Sounds like fun. Makers and crafters, maybe. You could probably stream that, though you'd need to plan a lot to make it look right. Yeah, I don't necessarily know that I would, that I would seriously want to. It's just, it's an amusing thought. Whoa! Not, well, I'm not going to bother using the freeze weapon this time. I'm just going to see if I can get it done with the regular weapon. And you know what? We can. And quickly. Look at how fast that boss went down. <clears throat> um, I was saying the roommates I'm going to live with, I know... Good enough since one is my sister and the other guy is a good friend. Unfortunate. I don't think I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had a bad roommate. I haven't had roommates all that often. Mostly just, just in college, really. But I don't think I've ever been paired up with someone that I, that I didn't get along with. <clears throat> my first roommate in college was my roommate for like two years. And he was a real quiet guy. We bunked our beds, and he took the top bunk because he was a smaller guy. He was a lot lighter than me. I don't even know that he wanted to do that, but he went along with it. So um, it gave us a lot more floor space, so I thought that was the way to go. But I don't know. But for like two years, yeah, he had the top bunk. And all I remember about him, because like even though we lived together for two years... We hardly ever, like, talked to each other or anything. I mean, we did not get along, but we didn't have a lot of common interests. Um, the only thing I really remember about him is he set up in the top bunk all the time reading Star Wars novels. That was, like, his thing. He was really into, like, the extended universe of Star Wars. And, I don't know, in that two years, he probably read, like... I don't know, like 200 Star Wars novels. He read a ton. That's all I ever saw him do. I don't remember ever seeing him do homework or study or work on his computer. He had a computer. I don't remember him ever using it. I just remember him reading Star Wars novels. Surely he must have done all those things, but...
Um, you lucky duck. I would have lived with my dad longer, but it didn't work out, sadly, and he had some problems. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, do you have roommates now or live alone? <laughs> Neither. He got involved with the wrong crowd. That's a shame. That can be really bad for you. Had some, I've had some friends. I've had some friends get involved with. Maybe you know, maybe not the same situation, but I have some friends who I've lost because they got involved with people they shouldn't have. And it's a real shame. I haven't had anyone pass away because of it, but there have definitely been some rifts in the past. I'm back. My PC likes to freeze after streaming console games. <laughs> my my laptop likes to freeze for no reason at all. But welcome back, Zenshan. Glad to have you back. I'm sorry you missed um you missed the curls. But I think the chat well, I think the chat can back me up in saying that I I performed them admirably. And we are appreciative of your contribution to my continued health and wellness. We did lose him, but that's life. Unfortunately, that's... That's the way it goes. As long as you got super buff, that's all that matters. I did my best. We're getting there. I did make it to the gym on Saturday. I stuck to my goal. I, I pulled it off. Today's another rest day, and then I, I hit the gym again tomorrow. It's nothing, nothing crazy, but it's nice to be getting back into a, uh, it's nice to be getting back into a routine. And building, building some strength back up. I felt like a, uh, I felt like my limbs have, uh, deteriorated into a, excuse me, my limbs have deteriorated into floppy noodle status. I feel like I've got the arm strength of a Muppet lately, and so I really want to get that. Really want to get that. Uh, really want to get that changed. As long as you're trying, that's all that matters. The ability select looks super clunky in this game. I mean, you know, they didn't have a whole lot to work with. It's I'd say it's no more clunky than the source material, right? <laughs> Me, I'm a floppy noodle muppet. <laughs> I have I have been for a, for a while now. Uh, everyone starts with floppy noodles. F 
Floppy Noodle Gang. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, I missed that. Uh, remember the good times you're streaming tomorrow. Yes, uh, tomorrow we're going to do... Uh, tomorrow's stream, I believe we're going to do Donkey Kong Country 2 and uh, Harry Potter. I'm going to try and split it. We'll probably do about two hours of Donkey Kong and three hours of Harry Potter. And we might... Uh... We might do something else at the uh, start of the at the start of the stream. We'll see. One of my one of my goals is to try and start the stream a little early on most nights this week. And if I start early, I'm going to start with a with a with an unannounced game that will do for like an hour or so. But whatever I've announced on the schedule should should happen, even if it doesn't even if it doesn't happen right at the start of the stream, like it might appear on the schedule, um, it should happen on the correct night. Looking forward to more Potter. It's a fun time. I really like. I kind of like just. I don't know. I like just being in the world of that game, and just sort of looking around and exploring. It's a fun time. Hello, Dartomic. Welcome to the stream. This is a Castlevania. Uh, no, Castlevania. Castlevania has already been done. We've moved on to the next thing. This is the the Cryon Conquest. More like Mega Man ripoff. It's finally been said. Someone, someone's, f f someone's finally come out and named the Blue Bomber. I've danced around it this whole this whole time. It is a Mega Man ripoff. It is, uh... Oh yeah, can Mega Man do this? Watch this. You think this is a Mega Man ripoff? No, it's not. It's an entirely different game. Entirely different. Mega Man has never been able to do this. <laughs> oh yeah. And believe me, and believe me, I have wanted, I have wanted to duck in many a Mega Man game. <laughs> Playing Dishonored today. On PS3, it's a hard game. I don't really know about that. I've heard of it before, but I don't really, I don't know what kind of game it is. Does it have does it have game overs that send you back to the beginning of the game because I find that to be the height of difficulty. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh, so I had the roommate. I had the roommate who read Star Wars novels all the time. And then after I went to Thailand, um, he was assigned a different roommate. So when I came back, I had to have a, I had to have a different roommate. And my second roommate, I never even met. Um, it was move-in day, and I brought all my stuff to the dorm, and I moved in. And the first day there, he never showed up. At all. And so I got up the next morning, and I went out, and I had breakfast. And I came back, and uh, all of his stuff was in the room. And it was all just, just thrown in, like... Like he'd just come and brought all of his things and just tossed them in from the doorway without ever stepping into the room. It was all just piled and scattered and just strewn around in a complete tornado of a mess. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. Um, but he never showed up. And I stayed in the dorm all day and I went out for lunch. And when I came back, um, everything was put away. It was like immaculate. He'd hung up all of his clothes, and he made his bed, and put his computer, and all of his books, and just and his little like decorations and stuff, all put up, like it was it was perfect, an absolute beautiful room, meticulously put away. And I was like, all right, this guy this guy's not as the slob that he appeared to be. I still haven't met him. That's weird. And I hung out all day, and I went out to dinner, and I came back, and all of his stuff was gone. Like he'd never been there. <laughs> and I never met him. <laughs> and it was the weirdest day. <laughs> so I don't know who he was. <laughs> but that was my second roommate. It <laughs> was weird. It was super weird. It was amazing. I felt like I felt like I'd hallucinated the whole thing. Like maybe he never existed. I wish I I wish I remembered what his name was. I wish I'd thought to like look because I'm sure I'm sure I must have been told his name or something like on a piece of paperwork somewhere. And so then I didn't have a roommate for like two weeks and the college got really annoyed with that. They, they didn't want that to happen. And so then they were like, they put it on me and they said like, you have to find, you can't be in a room without a roommate. You have to find a roommate or we're going to charge you double. And I'm like, why is it, why is it my responsibility to find a roommate for me? Like, that's... That should be your job. And like, you have to find a roommate, or we're going to charge you for both room, both halves of the room. Complete nonsense. Utter garbage. And, I mean, it was fine with me anyway, because, I, now that I think about it, because I actually had a, I had a housing scholarship that, it was, it was flexible, so it was just whatever the cost of my housing was, was covered. So even if they charged me for the other half of the room, my scholarship should have covered it, but whatever. So they said I had to find another roommate, and I didn't know how to go about doing that, and I didn't work on it, and the deadline was coming up, and so... <laughs> complete nonsense, utter garbage. I agree. You got ghosted. <laughs> I did. Um, and so it was the last day, it was the last day before that I had to find a roommate, and I showed up to one of my literature classes and a bunch of us were just sitting out in the hallway waiting for the professor to show up and I just said randomly I said I said I don't know if anyone here um, needs to change their living situation but if anyone's looking for a roommate I have to find one by the end of the day or, <laughs> or I've got to get in serious trouble and no one said anything to me about it it's just like they kind of ignored what I said which is fine um, but I didn't really expect anyone to say anything, but at the end of class, after class was over, some guy came up to me and he said, Are you serious about needing a roommate? Because, because I need a room. <laughs> and I said, yes, and he came and he moved in with me, and it was great. <laughs> it worked out, it worked out as perfectly as it could have. 
And the great thing, the great thing about that too, was that I don't know what his situation was, but he actually had an apartment off campus. But for some reason, like, because part of the terms of his scholarship or whatever, he was required to have a dorm room or something. I don't know, some, some other nonsense. He had to have a dorm on campus, even though he didn't live there. And so most of the time he was gone in his own apartment anyway. He basically only stayed in our dorm when it was like late at night and he was too lazy to go back to his apartment. <laughs> Um, Dishonored is a first-person shooter, but more slow. Can't run and gun everyone. It's more sneaky. He was spying on me. My roommate was spying on me. I guess so. I guess he didn't like what he saw either, because he... Because, yeah, he ghosted me, like everyone said. I scared... I must have scared him away. It worked out for me. It worked out just fine. And he and I, he and I were roommates for about a year, I think, after that. And then, um, and then after that, my roommates were um, foreign exchange students. I had two or three, I had two, two or three different roommates. They were nice. They were fine. At that point, at that point, I had, um, I had a girlfriend at that point, and so I spent, I spent more time with her than I did in my own dorm, and so I don't really, I didn't really get along with my, I didn't really spend a lot of time with my roommates. So it's not that we didn't get along, but that we didn't, we didn't really know each other that well, just because I wasn't around a whole lot. What just happened? What? <laughs> I'm not even worried about the laser beam. What was my character doing? <laughs> Absolutely unreal.
Oh, that's infuriating. <laughs> oh, that's not the kind of thing you want to happen. All right, well, this this game has been a good time. We've been at it for like two hours, a little over two hours. So I think it's probably time. I don't really feel like I'm making a whole lot of progress. I have made progress. I've gotten better at the first level, but this is one of those. I'm gonna have to work on this slowly over a long time. So I think we're gonna wrap up the Cryon Conquest for tonight and switch over to something else. Um, exactly what that might be, I'm not sure. Um, I want to pick out something on the, uh, you made some good progress for sure. I mean, I felt like I was reasonably consistently making it to that boss. Um, and we know how to beat him. He's super, he's super easy when I don't glitch out and have my character scramble all across the screen like that. So he's not a problem. It's just, it's such a big game and you have to start it from the beginning every time. That's quite a... It just puts quite a crushing weight on you. Um, so I'm going to play something on the Sega Genesis. Um, that's going to be what we do now. We're going to switch consoles. We'll move over to the Genesis. And I'll play something there. Not entirely sure what. I don't know because the thing is with the Genesis games, I don't really know the library very well. I don't think that, that I have anything that I'll be able to beat in, a, in an hour and change, which is about, you know, we've only got like an hour or so of stream left. You know, maybe two if I go into overtime, which is fine. I'm willing to do that. But I don't, I don't know. I don't really want to bite off more than I can chew. But we'll see. I'm going to take a BRB. That's what I'm going to do. Step away from the computer for a while, stretch my legs and all that good stuff. And I'll, uh, I'll poke around my Genesis collection while I'm away. And uh, when I come back, we'll play something different and uh, have some fun with that. So thank you very much for hanging out with me and enjoying the Cryon Conquest. This game, uh, like I said, it's, this is probably going to be a staple around the stream for a while. Um, I'll, be, uh, I'll be picking it up every now and then. It'll be a good sort of start of stream, warm-up kind of game. I can play an attempt or two, get get better at it slowly over time. Um, and then after, I, after I've after i grinded out a lot of progress on it and I feel really confident, we'll dedicate a whole night to, like, tonight I'm finally going to beat it. We'll go through the whole thing, and it'll be it'll be glorious. But it's such a, it's such a challenging game, and it has to be memorized to such an excruciating level that it's going to be a it's going to be a slowly chip away at it kind of game. I never went to college. Always wish I had for something. I mean, I don't know. I've mixed I have mixed feelings about college. College was fine for me because I went through like I was able to get a lot of scholarships and a lot of grant money, and so I went through without incurring a huge tremendous amount of debt. But um, unless you're going through through college for something extremely marketable. Um, I don't know that the debt is worth incurring um, in today's day and age. Like if, if I were if I were a young person getting out of high school, I'd probably look more to a trade school and learn a craft before I would want to go to college today personally. But your mileage may vary. Different things work for different people. I'm just saying, if I, if I rewound, if I rewound the tape of my life and had to do it again from, from high school, I'd probably, I probably would have gone to a trade school. I mean, I say that, but, you know, assuming that I'd be graduating high school today in 2021, I would look, I would look towards something, uh, towards something more skill-based with a less, higher profit for lesser charge. <laughs> <laughs> Again, unless unless there's a specific field you want to break into and a college degree is the only way. You know, like if you want to be a librarian, you got to go to you have to go to college because you need an MLS. So you you've got to go through you got to go through, you know, bat, bachelor's and masters. 
but for a lot of other things. You know, culinary school, a trade school. I think that those are all really good suggestions um, with the way with the way the world is today. You can take uh, CLEP tests for most of the courses for an associate's degree for under $100 each. That's what I'm doing. Nice. Did you have a good experience at least? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a good time in college. I don't I don't re I don't regret having gone to college. I'm just thinking, you know, like balancing what I got out of it. It probably would have been more profitable to go another way. But again, I didn't lose anything going to college. Um, because it was all, all of it was paid for for me. And in fact, because, because of my scholarship and grant money, you can look at it, I made money going to college. Because, you know, they bought me a computer, they paid for my housing, they gave, you know, I, I, I walked away with more money for going to college. <clears throat> than I would have if I hadn't. You know, I was I was really lucky and I was always I was always good at school. <laughs> which doesn't which isn't to say that I'm that I'm smart <laughs> or anything like that. I mean you to be good at school you have to be smart in a certain type type of way. But you know, education is a is a type of game that you can that you can learn to play. And I, I learned pretty early how to play the game of education. And so I was able to make it through college for free. No, it's not cheap at all. College is not cheap. And, that, and that, that's what I'm saying. And a lot of college degrees aren't marketable or profitable. And so that's the thing. It's like you go to college, you get a degree that doesn't make you hireable and you have a tremendous debt put on your back. That's not a good, that's not a, a situation I would recommend anyone get into. It worked out for me because I was able to go to college for free. <laughs> and so it didn't matter. It didn't matter how marketable I was when I came out the other end. I didn't have a huge debt attached to me that I had to worry about paying off. <clears throat> it's definitely a game. Exactly. And, you know, I, I grew up in a backwoods Kentucky town, like out you know out and out in the sticks and so like if i ever wanted to leave town and see some of the world like college was my was my way out and so i knew from a very young age that i had to get good at the game of school so that i could so i could go to college so that i could have a means to get out of my hometown so that i could go you know live different places and see different things and that suited me well and a lot of my friends a lot of my friends didn't, they never went to college, and they they still live in my hometown, and they have better jobs than I've ever had. <laughs> you know, they, they they've got nice you know they have got nice houses, they got families, and they're living really well. So it all depends. There are different paths. I met some really good friends in college, and it was worth it for that. But in working to save up for grad school. I found a job in an entirely different field that had nothing to do with my degree, so the degree itself was kind of useless. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of a situation that I ended up in. My degree is mostly catered, catered toward, te toward teaching, and I did that for a long while, and it was okay. Like, teaching is fun. Being a teacher is terrible. Like all the work, all the work you have to do off the clock and all the extra nonsense you have to do for the school you work for. Ugh, it's just a garbage time. The time in the classroom and the time spent with students is, is a really good job for the most part. You know, not all students are great, but you know, whatever. But, oh man, all the extra stuff of being a teacher. All the work you have to do unpaid is just terrible. So I, I'm not in that field anymore. Teachers are so underpaid. This is true. Uh, college doesn't work for everyone, I guess. Definitely, definitely. That's and that's the thing. It's like what you hear, like sort of the, 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 the script or the narrative that gets pushed onto people is like, oh, you, you have to go to college. You have to go to college. It's just what you do. You know, just like 
you know, after after middle school, you have to go to high school. After high school, you have to go to college. That's the that's the next step. It's what you have to do. And it's like, uh, no, that depends on what you want to do with your life. Maybe if you want to, you know, there are plenty of things you can do. Oh, magic beans. That's what I'm doing. What do you say? What do you say? Master Tuesday. <laughs> Master Tuesday, I gotta ask you. I've drawn this same bean. This is the third time in a row I've drawn this bean. I'm gonna leave it up to you. Do I eat this bean for the third time, or you want me to do a redraw and get something different? Uh, I'll do either one. If you, you want me to eat this bean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. But the thing, I feel like it's disappointing to my viewers that I keep drawing the same bean. <laughs> exactly. Go for a reshovel. If you pick it again, then it's inevitable. Okay, but I'm actually I'm gonna put this copy of it aside, and I'm gonna I'm gonna draw fresh. But I think I think this should be a new rule. I'm gonna let the the person who spent the money. If I draw the same bean three times in a row, I'm gonna give you the option of do we eat it or do a redraw. So I'm I'm gonna set this one aside and draw fresh. I like your pers I like your perspective by the way. If we get it again, it's inevitable. <laughs> do, do you see this? It's the same thing. <laughs> Can you see in this jar? They're not all the same bean. Look, there's blue, there's brown, there's spotted beans. How in the world do I do this? This is infuriating. We're stuck in the worst timeline. The universe said you will eat egg. The bean has chosen you. <laughs> Hello, Absinthe, and welcome to the stream. Oh. My, my stomach hurts from laughing. <sighs> Oh, it's... it's popcorn. I hate this bean. It's as bad as egg, I swear. Oh. Oh, no. I think I might hate the buttered popcorn worse than the egg. Who has egg the past two times, Absent? No, it's... It's buttered popcorn. I hate, I hate buttered popcorn flavored candy. Oh, oh, I'd rather play Earthworm Jim than eat one of those again.
<laughs> it's terrible either way. All right, Zinchan, I see your let's get spicy. I said I was going to take a BRB, and now it's been like 15 minutes of me sitting here <laughs> running my mouth, eating beans, eating peppers. <laughs> oh. I need to switch categories. It would become a just chatting stream. It's a little spicy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been a while. <laughs> It's been a while since the peppers made me sneeze. Oh. <clears throat> oh my. <laughs> I'm still eating the Serranos. I'm still on Serranos. Excuse me, I'm sorry, my friends. I was actually thinking, I ran out of Serranos last week, one night, and I was looking at my habaneros, and I was thinking, do I, do I dare? And I didn't dare. Not yet. Maybe in a month or two. Maybe in a month or two, we're going to step it up. But I still, I still need to, I need to build up a little bit more tolerance with these Serranos yet. Because they can still be surprising. <clears throat> Thank you, Derek, for the pistachios. If you work your way up, I think jalapenos would come first. Actually... I'd like to do Thai chilies next. They're smaller, but they're supposed to be a little hotter than a Serrano. Jalapenos are good, but I think I think jalapenos and serranos overlap a little bit on the Serra on the Scoville scale, so I feel like a jalapeno wouldn't be much of a step up, but more of a step sideways. That's my my fear, at least. could be wrong. I haven't looked at a Scoville chart in a while. Okay, before anyone else redeems anything, before anyone else redeems anything, I'm going to take that BRB. I'm going to step away. I'll be back with you very shortly, just a few minutes, and we'll switch over to a Genesis game. I'm just going to look through them quickly. I'm going to pick out something. We won't go through the whole thing. We'll just do it for probably about an hour, hour and a half tonight, but it'd be nice to get sort of a sampling of something, dip our, dip our toes in the water and see how see how cool it is 
So if you want to hang around, my friends, I'll be back with you very shortly.